what is going on everyone as you know the houston texans have the 23rd overall pick in this coming nfl draft the combine is underway and thanks to our guy cody stutes we found out which wide receivers have had formal meetings with the houston texans we are going to react to this list and see if we could get some type of insight from general manager nick casario look i said it yesterday i think the houston texans are one wide receiver away from being a dynamic pass and attack in the nfl Welcome everyone to the 713 Houston Sportcast. My name is Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. And this episode is brought to you by my friends at Underdog Fantasy. Download the app. Use my promo code 713HOU for a first time bonus deposit up to $100. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Now, before we continue with the video, all this information is from our guy, Cody Stutes, a friend of the channel. One of the reasons why I started doing YouTube, follow him on Twitter, turn on those notifications. He is at the NFL Combine, and we are going to see which wide receivers had meetings with the Houston Texans. The first one that I saw, Oregon wide receiver Troy Franklin had a formal meeting with the Texans here at the Combine. He was listed as the toughest cover by a number of cornerbacks yesterday. He said the meeting with the Texans went well. If you have been watching me for the past couple of months, you know Troy Franklin is one of my guys, the 6'387 pound wide receiver from the Oregon Ducks. He put on 10 pounds from last season, so he will have to continue to add more. You don't want to see 187 pounds in the NFL. He is a good route runner decent hands can win the contested battle but what stands out about Troy Franklin is his speed his stats on the year 81 receptions for 1,383 yards and 14 touchdowns seven of those touchdowns came in the red zone he also had six red zone touchdowns last season I think Troy Franklin could come in and transform this Houston Texan offense as soon as CJ Stroud snaps the ball he's just gonna throw it as far as he can and Troy Franklin's gonna go get it and this would be your number three wide receiver behind Nico Collins and Tank Dell I am getting excited just thinking about it and to hear that his meeting went well with the Houston Texans makes me feel like maybe he is one of their targets with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think about the Houston Texans meeting Troy Franklin, wide receiver from Oregon. Now, the second wide receiver I saw, LSU Brian Thomas, had a formal meeting with the Texans, talked a lot about his film at LSU, and they used the time to get to know him better. Wants to catch on to details faster and fine-tune the little things. Noted Julio Jones and T. Higgins as wide receivers he watched growing up. Now, Brian Thomas, 6'4", 205 pounds. I don't think he will be available at pick 23 for the Houston Texans. His stats in 2023, 68 receptions, 1,177 yards, and 17 touchdowns. Another deep threat potentially for this Houston Texan offense. I mean, at 6'4", he has a basketball background, meaning he could go out there and win the 50-50 ball. Once again, I think Brian Thomas could come in and be a legit option for C.J. Stroud. And I have no doubt that Brian Thomas Jr. could be a wide receiver one in the future for this Houston Texans team, you know LSU just continues to put out wide receiver prospects that become franchise guys. And I have no doubt Brian Thomas Jr. will be the next one for the LSU Tigers. I think he could step in immediately and make an impact on this Houston Texan offense. He'll be the third option behind Nico Collins and Tank Dell. And with Brian Thomas Jr. on the Houston Texans, it's going to be a pick your poison offense. Let me know what you guys think about the Houston Texans potentially drafting Brian Thomas Jr. at the LSU at pick 23. Now, the third wide receiver we are going to be talking about, Xavier Worthy from the Texans Longhorns. He had a formal meeting with the Texans here at the Combine. Someone asked him to just list all the formal meetings. He said there were so many, and then someone asked him, who all can you remember? 
The Texans were the first team he mentioned. Xavier Worthy stands at six foot one, 172 pounds. He is going to have to put on some muscle. His stats in 2023. 75 receptions, 1,014 yards, and five touchdowns. Now, not only is Xavier Worthy a dynamic wide receiver, but he is a legit threat at a punt return to put the Texans Longhorns in multiple situations where they had the ball in their enemy territory. And honestly, I think Xavier Worthy could be a weapon for the Houston Texans. Look, speed kills, and he has exactly that. I think the only thing that is missing from this Houston Texans wide receiver core is a deep threat. That's why we've talked about Troy Franklin, and that's why we are talking about Xavier Worthy from the Texans Longhorns. He is just a big play waiting to happen. When he has the ball in his hands, he can make people miss. He can create the highlight play. It sounds like I'm talking about Tank Dell last year. But with that being said, I would love if Xavier Worthy finds himself on the Houston Texans. Your third wide receiver is someone who is a dynamic slot guy, could burn you over the top, and can give you a threat in the punt return game. I wouldn't mind that at all. Ladies and gentlemen, the Houston Texans are doing their due diligence during this NFL Combine. We talked about Troy Franklin from Oregon. We talked about Brian Thomas Jr. for LSU, and we are talking about Xavier Worthy from Texas. Let me know what you guys think about the Houston Texans meeting with these guys. Is there other prospects that I should keep an eye on? As always, go Houston Texans. You guys have a very blessed day.